Hey, this is Steven over here at Black Label Moto in Cedar City, Utah. We got a Harley in. We see a lot of the videos online of fixing these fuel lines, like on the valve on the tank itself, but never any videos really of the actual fuel line. And uh, so I figured I'd make a quick little video on that. So I'm gonna hand this over to my kid here and he's gonna kind of hold that for you. Um, pretty much what you're gonna do, um, the O-rings are the Fuel Tool MC600-5s, um, and that's just for just this line right here. That's not for up in here on the tank itself. That's a whole separate thing and a whole separate tool. But anyway, this one right here, you're just gonna get a pick tool or a little screwdriver, and you're just gonna kind of push down in there. It's like there's a little spring inside, and you're gonna push down and you'll pop it out. I'm making this easy for the video. I kind of already popped this one out. You're going to have to work it a little bit if it's old, but it does come out with like a little pick tool pretty much. So you'll pretty much pop out your old O-ring right there. You'll get a new one out of the pack. If I can open it. If I can find one here. And what I like to do is just get a little bit of like soapy water. Um, I don't like using the chemicals on the fuel stuff just because it might eat the O-rings. I have no idea, but soapy water works great. And you're just going to kind of feed that in there a little bit. You can do a little bit by hand and then it takes a minute. You got to really work it because it's way, it's a really fat O-ring. And so you'll kind of work it by hand the best you can. And hopefully this goes good for us on the video here because you really got to fight these a little bit sometimes. Let's see. You don't want to damage the O-ring at all, so you just want to be really careful if you're using like a screwdriver or something. They're really tough O-rings, but still just be cautious and just kind of lightly just keep smushing that sucker in there until it seats. Boom, just like that. And then you can actually push down on that and just make sure it's all seated and pretty much once it's in there it'll you'll know when it's in it just pops right in place um, when you do pull out that old o-ring there's this little detent in the middle and then underneath that is just a little spring so just be cautious not to lose those um, they do slide right out really easy anyway that's all you got to do to get that new o-ring in and then you're done